Okay, so today I've had another Snapchat lesson from my daughter um, and I just wanted to show you about something that's quite cool actually. Um, if you have a look in here, um, literally if you just try to take a picture of, I'm just going to take a black picture, so this is just of my leg. Okay, now you see up here, second one in next to the scissors, it's like a little square with a folded corner if I click in there. Um, and the third one across, so again next to the scissors if I click in here, I have all of these what they call bitmojis. Now bitmojis is another application that you have that synchronizes with Snapchat and you actually make your own characters. So let's say like good morning, you can see this one actually looks a little bit like me because I've created my own character. Okay, so I can put there, but if uh, there's all sorts of ones, so I can then just send that over to my story or to individual people. Okay, but I'm just going to show you now how to create these bitmojis. And in the last week, this is really good news, but in the last week, Bitmoji or Snapchat, who actually own Bitmoji, have now incorporated uh, Bitmoji into the normal keyboard. So I'm just going to talk you through that as well. So first of all, let me show you how to create these. So you download the app from the App Store, which is this one here, Bitmoji. Okay, and you go through a wizard to create your person. Um, so you select you know different outfits, different hairstyles, if you've got glasses, not glasses, body shape, all that sort of stuff. So you actually get somebody who actually looks a little bit like you. As you can see, this hopefully does look a little bit like me. So that's the first thing. If you just download Bitmoji from the App Store um, and then synchronize it and go through and create your character. Once you've done that, then if you are anywhere, so let's say if I'm just going to write perhaps a, a text message to somebody. So let's go and do a text message. Um, who should I write a text message to? I'll do it to my daughter, Rachel. Okay, so now if I go to write a message, and if you're doing your normal text, and you've got, you see the symbol here, which is your emojis, where you can normally add emojis. If I click here and keep my finger on it, I can then change it to Bitmoji. And then I can select any of the um, you know, cheers. And then I double tap, click paste, and I can send that off to Rachel just by clicking send. So how on earth do you get it into your emoji keyboard here? How do I get this here? Well, I'll quickly show you how to do that. If I go into my settings, Okay, and then it's down here into general. And then I go into keyboard. And into keyboards here, I can add a new keyboard. But you can see I've added, when I've added the new keyboard, I just select my keyboard because it will come up there as uh, Bitmoji. Then don't just go back, you need to then click into it and you need to give uh, allow full access because this is actually default is off so you need to make sure that's turned on and you've clicked allow okay so then it, wherever you are writing any sort of text you have you know even in Facebook Messenger so if I want to message somebody so again if I try and message say um, let's go into um, I'll do a search for Rachel, she or she won't mind me showing you this. So Rachel, okay, and then I click my little emoji button, click Bitmoji, okay, I'll do a search, so perhaps I'm going to search for happy, just click search, oh, can't spell happy. And it will give me oh happy days and I can just click send photo so this is originally it is obviously a, a snapchat little feature but in the last week or so you've now been able to add it so it's part of a normal keyboard so that's great I love it I think it's absolutely fantastic and you've got loads of stuff within that as well so have fun playing with your Bitmoji and that's this week's Snapchat lesson over and done with. See you next week. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.